It was the 2nd of January, four minutes past two in the morning. I woke up to a knocking at the door. One knock every three seconds. I slipped on my slippers and walked down the stairs. As I walked down, the knocking on the door got faster, almost like a heartbeat. When I got to the door, the knocking stopped. I looked outside and no one was there. I went back to my room and went to bed, thinking it was just some kids playing a prank. At 21 minutes past four, I woke up to the front door slamming shut. I jumped, terrified. I looked over at my frosted window to find Smile written all, all over it in the frost. I grabbed my phone next to me, ready to call 911, only to find a message written on it saying, I told you to smile. I cried and ran for my life, running outside. As soon as I got outside, I knocked on my neighbour's house across the road. They answered and held me whilst they sobbed. They phoned the police. At exactly 5.42, the police came to my neighbour's house after an extensive search of mine. They told me there had been no evidence at all of anyone in my house other than me. The messages on my window were gone, same as my phone. They told me to get some sleep and advised me to see the doctor about stress and anxiety problems. Fuck that. I knew what happened to me was real. The following evening, after spending the day at my neighbours, I went home. I went up to my bedroom and set up a camera. It was aimed at the bedroom door and my bed. I set it to record and went to sleep. Thankfully, I slept for the night. However, as I watched the footage, I couldn't believe what I saw. At three in the morning, something crawled out from under the bed. It was a completely naked, anorexic man. He stood up and looked at me on the bed. He did so for another hour, not moving at all. Then he moved. He crawled over to the camera until his face took up the whole shot. He was extremely pale and had bulging veins all over his head. His eyes were completely black, with a huge smile on his face. He stared at the camera for another two hours, not blinking, just slightly twisting his head every now and then. After two hours of him staring went past, he walked back over to my bed and crawled underneath. I skipped the video forward until it showed me getting up and walking over to the camera. The video finished, and I was frozen with fear. The video showed him going back under, but not leaving. Whatever it was, it was still there. <laughs>